This is the Rad 2X, a collaboration between Retro Gaming Cables UK and Retro Tink. Oh yes! Now you can play your Sega Saturn via HDMI using this beautiful little device. As you can see it's got HDMI Mini out. And it also has a mini USB input here. Now I'm wondering if that's to power certain models of this device. On this particular device it is blocked off, so you can't access it. On the bottom of the device we have a little switch. This is a LPF anti-analyzing switch, which is switched on as default. Personally, I'd leave this switched off. Now this beautiful little device takes the RGB input from your Sega Saturn and converts it to YPBPR and outputs via HDMI. The output signal is a 480p signal or 576p line doubled mode. Default aspect ratio is also 4x3. Excellent! What about lag I hear you saying? Well, there is no lag! Well, not that you'll notice, it's about 53 microseconds. Also we get 24-bit stereo audio. Excellent! So it's no secret that the Sega Saturn outputs really really nice RGB video. But why would you want to give that away and exchange it for HDMI? Well, there's the convenience factor for a start, but also one very important point. I've been playing Sega Saturn through RGB since 1995 and I've always had the issue no matter what type of cables I have, official or non-official, there is always picture noise. For example, let's take a look at the intro to Sega Rally and just listen to the background hum when the title comes on. Sega Rally Championship. Yeah, it's pretty annoying, especially when you're playing at high volumes. Now let's take a look at the HDMI signal and just see if you can hear any background noise. Sega Rally Championship. Yep, absolute silence. Now that is a major selling point in my opinion for the Sega Saturn. Now as mentioned, this switch does have a low pass filter on it, but is it any good? Well let's take a look here using Panzer Dragoon's way. Hmm, now as you can see, now the low pass filter is off. And now it's on. And you can certainly see there is a slight difference, but in my opinion it doesn't really improve the look of the game. Take a look again. Okay, this time focus on the E on the pause sign. Here it is with the low pass filter switched off. Let's take a look at a high resolution Sega Saturn game running in this mode. Ok so here we have Dead or Alive 2 that runs in the Sega Saturn's 480i mode. And as you can see it looks fairly good, this is without the low pass filter switched on. But if we switch the low pass filter on, you do notice a bit of smoothing to the character's legs for instance, take a look. Now which do you prefer, low pass filter on or low pass filter off? Hmm, this one is a little bit more confusing. But personally I'd rather keep this off, run this through the frame meister and add scan lines like this. Now that looks much better in my opinion. 
Now one thing you may be wondering, how about games that switch resolution? Because when you use a Frame Meister or a OSSE, you always get that blanking interval when the Sega Saturn changes resolution. Well, with the Rad 2X, you do get that blanking interval, but you only lose about one second of image. So it's not too bad. Unlike RGB, where it's seamless. But, for example, on a Frame Meister, you can lose about four seconds of signal, which means you end up getting your ass kicked while the screen is blank. So how does the basic RGB output of the Sega Saturn compare in video quality to using HDMI out via the Rad 2X? Well, let's take a look at two games side by side and let's compare together. So oh, there you have it, that is the Rad 2X, collaboration between RetroThink and Retro Gaming Cables UK. Currently this is on sale for £47.99, that is in December 2019. So far we've only seen video captures of this device, but what does it look like on an actual TV? Well let's take a look, here is the Sega Saturn running through my Rad 2X on a 4K panel outputting at 720p. Of course, with scan lines added. I think it looks pretty cool. Yeah. 